Hello everyone. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Jasmine is going to do another cooking session today and she's going to tell you all about it. Okay, the plan for today is uh, couscous. Um, I'm going to do stuffed pepper, peppers and Greek yogurt. Okay, everything I'm going to add is fresh. All the ingredients are freshly um, chopped um, the, with the exception of the chickpeas. They're from the tin. Okay, so they've been washed and all ready to go. Um, you can actually, if you prefer, to buy uh, chickpeas, soak it overnight, and it does need pressure cooking. So I haven't got time for that. So I have the only thing I've used is the tinned, um, and it's in salted water, which I've washed. I don't want any of the already salted water added to the, the cooking that I'm going to be doing today. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. My ingredients today, couscous, chickpeas. I've got everything cut, uh, all the, my ingredients have been washed and they've been finely chopped. So what I have here are peppers, fresh coriander, spring onions, grated carrots and fresh tomatoes salt, cumin seeds and mustard seeds and what I'm going to add at the end is this um, honey and chili sauce to the chickpeas to give that flavor okay so um, and not to forget the stock that I'm going to be using this is chicken stock that's going to go into the couscous I've just tried just the normal boiling water and it was quite bland so what i've done is i've changed it only by accident i used vegetarian stock that worked really well and then i used chicken stock that worked extremely well so i'm going to use the chicken stock please don't use lamb stock it doesn't work it is horrible so let's go for it you know what i'm going to do i need the stock so i've got this stock which i've already talked about so the kettle's already boiled but I'm going to boil it again because it needs hot boiling water for the couscous. The couscous I bought that's from a supermarket. The packet is here. Okay. You're going to find variety of couscous in different supermarkets. I found this is the best one. So it works well. So here we go. Apples already boiled. This is just stock. Okay. As I've said, it's got to be boiling hot water. Let's just stir this. And the way I do this, this is only by experimenting that I actually mastered couscous. I made a lot of mistakes in the past how to do this couscous but this is the best way of doing it so what I've done is I'm just gonna put the hot water all the way right round and as I've done this I'm gonna shake this okay this now I know there's a lot of water in here so I need to add a little bit probably a little bit more couscous this will absorb so I'm just gonna add tiny little bit of more of the couscous what I don't want is this um, mashed up like mashed potatoes I'm just going to shake it that's what I found the important bit was to shake it okay and I'm going to leave this couscous and I'm going to cover this and let it just um, um, take its course okay the next stage is going to be cooking the chickpeas and everything together so here we go What I'm going to do, I've got the saucepan here and I've just got a little bit of olive oil in here. Um, I've got all the ingredients already as we've shown you earlier on. So in goes the mustard seeds. 
in goes a little bit of the salt because the stock already has the salt in it so you don't want to add too much in goes my cumin seeds so let the oil just warm this through so oh look it's sizzling right okay so next thing is I'm going to add the spring onions and it's got garlic in it as well and you can hear the sizzling that's good okay you want to add the vegetables the way they tend to cook quickly now peppers will cook very quickly so you don't want to add that first I'm going to add the grated carrots goes in next okay so then I'm going to add the tomatoes that goes in next and the last is going to be the peppers I'm just going to stir this okay the sizzling is just amazing oh, I love I love listening to the sound of the cooking okay give it a couple of minutes so whilst that's cooking, I want to show you something about the couscous. Now the couscous, as I've said, is all ready. I've got a fork here and what I've done is I've just basically scraped this, I make it as though it's not. See, there's a little bit here that's just like mashed potatoes. We don't want that. Okay, so I've got the fork here. And what I'm doing is trying to separate and I'm not going to be successful but trust me it will work out now remember this is for two people it's not for six people or whatever I don't even know whether the boss is going to like it so we'll see uh, I'm sure he will so we'll see okay so that's all ready I'm pleased with this I'm going to put this back here let's stir this Excellent. I'm going to add the peppers and I'm going to just throw in the coriander and the last bit is going to be the chickpeas in goes the chickpeas all done okay so and don't forget the chickpeas have already been cooked you know they are well preserved in the tin so they've been softened and already for us to use okay I'm um, just going to turn this gas down a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. What I'm going to do is, this is purely by accident. I started using this honey and chili sauce. But it only needs to be a very small amount. As I've said, I don't measure anything. That's enough. No more than this. Okay. You, can, you can add whatever you want. Okay, I'm just going to stir this. And this is the bit that I really love. Okay. So I'm going to turn the gas off now. Okay, gas is off. Couscous is here. Everything just goes on the top. And you just mix it all together and that's it. Already, couscous is done. and just mix this together really you should add the coriander right at at the end but you know something I do it to I do it add it as well as do it at the end look don't you think this looks good I think it looks absolutely amazing there are just few tricks with the couscous that I've learned over time um, as I've said, I, I don't want this couscous to look. There's an area here that's all stuck together like a mashed potato. We don't want that. Okay. So this is either the water is too too much, which most in most cases that's the reason. Okay. And I don't want to see lumps of couscous. I want to see everything, all the all the uh, couscous um, looking fluffed up not congealed or like mashed potatoes 
you can add the last bit is you can add fresh coriander on the top before you serve and the other thing is if you want to look it really colorful you can just sprinkle some paprika uh, paprika paprika <laughs> paprika <I'm> lo <laughs> God, lost my words there paprika okay before you serve now the next stage is going to be the greek yogurt very simple it takes about five minutes that's all coriander i'm just chopping this already do not throw the stems away because coriander has got the best taste in the stems do not throw them away okay this is all done before serving you can actually just sprinkle it make it look very colorful coriander shouldn't be cooked like I've used in the cooking process but I tend to add you can have coriander seeds you can add those you can crush it and add it but I, I just find that the seeds don't taste the same as the fresh coriander so this is how I'm, I've done I've always done so um, it's it's good everybody loves it so it must be good okay okay uh, Greek yogurt it's not going to take that much time everything's prepped on the plate I've got uh, spring onions finely chopped cucumber coriander fresh mint finely chopped lemon juice garlic only need one clove do not add more than one clove paprika salt and black pepper and that's all you need everything's going to be added okay here we go Greek yogurt so I'm just gonna make it for the two of us because it's full fat um, you know not very good for people who are dieting uh, is anything good okay so got or oh, I've got the Greek yogurt there I'm going to add the lemon fresh lemon juice we'll add paprika and get this off the spoon okay let's just add the black pepper and I can scrape the paprika with my spoon salt you need to re you need to taste it after you've added all the ingredients fresh garlic only one clove I've got coriander that goes in I've got mint fresh mint that goes in spring onions I've only added very small amount I'm going to see how Ellen likes it and then cucumber how easy is this you just mix everything together and that's it you can serve this with your couscous stuffed peppers hey it's going to be great everything's gone into the greek yogurt you know all the ingredients that i've mentioned so what i'm going to do is just sprinkle this with just a bit of paprika just to give it a bit of color nothing nothing major and then just add a little bit of coriander all ready to be served so my next stage is going to be the stuffed pepper okay very easy it's just that i'm preparing all the three dishes and i want everything to go together so i hope boss will like it the next bit is the stuffed peppers um as you can see they've been cut and de-seeded and what I've got here in this little glass is just olive oil, a bit of salt, pepper, a bit of um, chili sauce. That's it. You don't have to have it. But what I do is just put this just around it just to give it a bit of flavor. And then I'm going to grill this. So it's got this like a charcoal effect, but not to overcook the peppers we don't want them to be soft and squidgy okay they should be crunchy um, so all I'm doing is I've, I've done the other bit just to brush it just to give a little bit of flavor 
it's no big deal you can add whatever you want really you know over the years I've just done this that and the other it works yeah. okay this is all done all prepped and I'm just going to put this under the grill on a very low heat so I need to keep an eye on these okay so the grill's already on so here goes I'm just going to stick this under the grill but keep an eye on it right I'm just going to do the stuffing for the peppers in the saucepan I've just got a knob of butter here so we'll just leave this on the heat and in in this um, just going to add cumin seeds as you all know how much I love my cumin seeds okay a small amount of cumin seeds okay I've just added the cumin seeds to the butter okay so this is all going to be the stuffing for the pepper probably it's too much actually for the, the, the number of peppers I have uh, but it's okay just, um, just go with it okay so cumin seeds are cooking they've already been cooked to this I'm going to add my spring onions crushed tomatoes and coriander that goes in that is just the sauce so yesterday I did rice with peas uh, which I've actually shown this on our previous video it's, it's no special bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of rice save me from doing it again we only had quite a bit left from yesterday and I didn't want to waste it. That's what I'll use it today. Onions, tomatoes, just let this simmer. And I'm just going to add the meat. I don't like using lamb mincemeat. What I've got here is um, turkey meat. Okay. You can add, you can use turkey or chicken mincemeat. Um, and I, I know what Alan likes to eat, uh, prefers chicken. You can feed him chicken every day with a happy little duffy. So anyway, we'll just let this cook on a very slow heat. But in the meantime, I'm just going to check on the peppers as well. Just to make sure I haven't burnt them. Okay, they're doing good. They're good. They're, good. they're just um, warming up. So the rice is already done from yesterday as I've said. So that's going to go in with the mince after it's been cooked. So I think this stuffing is actually a lot. So God knows what I'm going to do with it. But never mind. It's a bit too much. Get rid of this. Put the lid on. This cook for about a few minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Just going to let the meat cook. I've already got the rice to go in, and um, what I'm going to add, which may surprise you, is Philadelphia. It's a, it's a soft cheese. That's only going to go maybe a tablespoonful afterwards before I uh, uh, put it on this, uh, before I stuff the peppers. Um, it just gives that lovely creamy taste. Uh, we'll see if boss likes it. There are certain things he doesn't like for him. Yeah, I've got to introduce them to it. If he doesn't like it, I shan't cook it for him next time. <laughs> oh, what can one say? Just have to wait and see. And look at the weather outside. Oh my God, it's, it's just pouring down with rain. Can you see they are slightly getting like a charcoal um, effect to it, um, but don't let it overcook. Okay, so I'm going to, I will turn them around um, and I only want them cooked slightly and I still want the crunch 
to the peppers okay so we don't want too much cooking here you go i'm just going to turn the peppers around listen my hands can cope with the heat so please don't follow my instructions okay i'm used to it okay i've turned them and they go back in the down in the grill just going to add the rice to this which which I've already said is already um, I cooked it yesterday so I only needed boiled rice but this is already done so I'm not gonna waste it so okay this is all mixed together oh this looks good looks good looks really good okay this is going to be the stuffing for the pepper and I as I've said it's a lot of stuffing it's uh, it's quite a lot I'm going to turn the gas off now okay and to this I'm going to add the cream cheese okay and and then I will just fill the peppers the peppers are doing good I just had a quick peep so that's fine only need maybe two I, I, I did say one tablespoon Full because this is full fat this is a very fatty meal I don't think it's good for somebody who's dieting and this it's got chives in it and herbs that's fine I think it's going to taste good so this is all going to be mixed together hopefully boss won't see it because I know what he's like with this melted cheese Hopefully I can change his mind, change his way of thinking. Okay, this is all done now, okay? I'll put the cheese in. It's all ready to be, uh, to go into the peppers. And I think the peppers are done too. Uh, I don't want them overcooked. Okay, we're all ready to go now. Good to go. Okay, I'm just going to check on the peppers. They're looking good this is it this is as far as I want them cooked okay not too too much just gonna turn them around oh it's hot oh gosh there you go let's turn this around the last stage is just to stuff this right let's just stuff this beautiful peppers you know every time I've cooked these for my guests in the past they've always said to me oh my god they're beautiful so it's got to be good hasn't it I've, I've got to do it right <laughs> okay look this looks a bit pale but it's okay it, it's fine and I shall put it under the grill just for sure, just for a few minutes. You can actually serve one pepper with a little bit of um, couscous and Greek yogurt, or you can put two on a plate. There you go, all done. That's the end product. And Looks I shall delicious. Just, yeah, well, I'm just going to put this, uh, the peppers just under the grill, just to brown it, okay? And not, not for too long, just to brown it. So here goes. And then I will let you see what the end product is going to look like. Okay, so goes back under the grill. I'll keep an eye on this and this is it all the meals done Cook. boy I think I deserve a glass of wine don't you I think you do and there's one on the table behind you how funny is that <laughs> well, cheers. well cheers to you my dear cheers. well done <laughs> Thank you've done a fantastic you. job it's a team. We are both a team. Oh, we are and indeed. Your work is just as hard as mine. <laughs>
<laughs> I've enjoyed it. So, hey, there it goes. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed watching that cooking video. I think Jasmine's done a fantastic job. Did you enjoy doing that? I did indeed. But more to the point, did you enjoy the it was lovely. I really product. did. I really did enjoy it. There's no doubt about it. Everything Jasmine cooks for me, I find most enjoyable to eat. Oh, I a, am a fussy eater, yes, as you know. Yes, I was so, a little bit worried about the. Yeah, she she needn't worry. She's really getting a hang of what my tastes are, <laughs> and um, yeah, that was great. Great. Well done, you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, another video comes to an end. So many thanks for watching. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Look after yourselves, your friends and families. Take the utmost care. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs> bye everyone. <laughs>